questions are used when we want to get answers. They can also be used to get direction. They reveal what seems to be hidden. And they can add speed to your pace. Welcome to Meg Inspires. My name is Margaret Firmus. And I'm a coach, a speaker, a trainer, a communicator. And I'm here to use a question and help you move from where you are. When discoveries are made, speed sets in. And the question I have for you today is the same question that the man of God asked the woman in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 2. What is it that you have in the house? Because while you sit back and cry and say, I have no one to help me, I have no one looking in my direction, you are sitting on a gold mine. A gold mine which you don't know about and can't develop because you don't know about it. So what is it that you have? Now this question doesn't necessarily point in the direction of your finances. It could be a gift. It could be a talent. It could be a service that you can render very well. And you know what the Bible says? It says if you're diligent, and what you're doing, your gift will bring you before kings. And kings will have to pay for your services. So while you sit back and ask yourself or cry about not getting employed or your business not working well, what is it that you have? It could be a skill. I need you to pick a pen and paper and get to a place where you shut out distractions and ask yourself that question, what do I have? Try to make a list of the things you have. And let's start from there. I will be back to give you the next instructions. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. God bless you.